Okay, so Michigan has become the first state to ban flavored e-cigarettes, which basically means every single e-cig flavor that isn't just plain or just tobacco is now banned. You have a government exercising authority over the people's ability of property, the people's ability of free trade, and this is the result. One person in office produced this law, no sort of committee or Senate hearing at all. And this government is just allowed to do whatever it wants. So now we have thousands of employees, tens of thousands of employees that are going to lose their job just because a few parents couldn't control their kids' actions. It is not our responsibility to watch over your children. There will always be alcohol. There will always be vices. There will always be tents towards your children. <clears throat> but it is not our responsibility to control your kids. Are we going to ban alcohol, like in Prohibition? Are we going to ban flavored alcohol now? Of course not, because it's insane. It's insane. Just because there has never been any sort of death directly linked to vapor. Never. Because vaping, it's, it's, it's not the same. It doesn't have the same chemicals as tobacco. And it's proven. Studies have been proving this for the past decade, yet now, now we are seeing a public health crisis. This is not a health crisis, my friends. This is a monetary crisis claimed by the tobacco industry. Big tobacco is in the pockets of all of these government officials. All of these government officials, they're basically waiting for the next big cash out, waiting to pass these laws. And here we see the results of government corruption, my friends, my fellow Michiganders. Are you going to allow the government to tell you what you can and cannot do? Are you going to allow the government to let these harmful tobacco companies basically profit so much off of your addiction, profit so much off of your declining health to the point where they will make it illegal for you to choose the healthier alternative. Are you going to put up with this as a person in an alleged free country? Are you going to allow your rights and your dignities and your right to property be taken? Are you or are you going to do something about it? Are you going to let your voice be heard? This bill, which isn't even a bill, it's an executive act by the government, uh, governor of Michigan, that now gives authority to the state to decide what you can and can't buy, what you can and can't put into your body. It's going to have the opposite effect. It's going to open up a huge black market for e-cigarettes. It's going to open up. It's like basically all you do is have to drive to Ohio and just buy a whole bunch of e-liquids, come back to Michigan, sell it for quadruple the price because people will buy it. And there's your... And, and most of these people buying these are going to be children. 
Because why? They didn't have access to a black market before. Because everybody was so focused on the actual market. Now you're going to have kids basically not even being ID'd or anything because the black market doesn't do any of that stuff. They don't care about your health. They don't care about your safety. But when we had stores where we can go to and buy, none of that was an, an issue. So the government... The governor is corrupt if this law actually is honored. Um, We've just proven ourselves to be sheep. We're going for Prohibition 2.0, and it's just corruption at its finest. It says, Michigan on Wednesday became the first state in the nation to ban flavored e-cigarettes, a step the government said was needed to protect young people from the potentially harmful effects of vaping. So a lot of people said alcohol was potentially harmful in the prohibition days. What happened? You had more kids drinking. And not only were they drinking, they were drinking unsafe alcohol that made them blind, that killed them. Is this the route we're going to go, Michigan? Is this the route we're going to take? Is this a step we're going to take? So I read wrote most of this article, and it says that if this isn't um, held or challenged within the next 30 days, it will last six months. Challenging while you still can. 